on here. This is uh, the first attempt at a new series that I'm going to call Riding with Jeff. It's basically just me riding around in my 72 Chevrolet, talking to you about things that are going on, both personally and with music, updating you on shows, maybe telling a few stories. Overall, just catching you up on the latest. If there's any questions, once we start posting these, we might start answering some questions. People post questions on my Facebook, and then I answer them in the Riding Around with Jeff series that week. So first, I feel like I should tell you a little bit about this truck that I'm riding in. When I first moved to Nashville, my agent and longtime friend, Jeff Gregg, uh, and I both went to car shows together. Something that we enjoyed, we both took an interest in, mainly because we both like old cars, but also what my very first vehicle was a 1971 Chevrolet Longbed that was a hand-me-down from my brother. It was his first vehicle, and then became my first vehicle. Anyway, one of the car shows, actually the Good Guys car show here in Nashville, um, that they hold at Titan Stadium, Jeff Gregg and I went to, we first walked in, found this truck on the left, I really had no intention of buying a, a classic truck. And uh, Jeff Gregg was good enough at the time to go in with me. I certainly couldn't afford this thing by myself. So we went in together, bought the truck, and that's how the truck came in. And is also why you'll see it in a lot of my photo shoots. You'll see me driving it around. That's why I included anything. It means a lot to me. And uh, Hopefully one day it's something that I can pass on to my kids. Actually, we uh, we shot a video last week um, and used the truck a lot. So we look forward to releasing that and getting that out and showing you guys how much fun we had. So now that you know a little bit about the truck and uh, the reason that I'm doing this series in it, I want to tell you a little bit about a passion project that I've had on my heart for a long time that I really just haven't really had the courage yet to get up and going but it's coming really soon I'm sure a few of you whether it's in a picture on Instagram or maybe at a show maybe on an off day or what have you have seen me wearing a shirt that says Porter Farm on it and uh, my dog's name's Porter so I'm sure some of you that are close to me fans and friends alike no, obviously the meaning of the name Porter for me. That was my grandfather's last name, Virgil Porter. My grandmother Gail Porter, his wife. And, uh, well, I lived with them for two years before I moved to Nashville. I was very close to them. They were some of my biggest supporters. And some of the best people to this day that I'll ever know. A couple of years after I moved to Nashville, Two, to be exact, my grandfather passed away. And uh, I had the name Porter Farm actually to operate business out of for a little while. The name Porter Farm actually came from when I lived with them. I would get up in the mornings, come downstairs. I was working at a construction company. And uh, my grandfather was retired. Actually, both of them were retired at that point. I would get up in the morning, come downstairs, and both of them would be up and waiting, usually cooking breakfast, and uh, nine times out of ten when I got downstairs, my grandfather was singing. Um, one of the songs that I put on the first record called Me and Jesus was one of the songs that he was always singing. Anyway, whether we were having oats, waffles, pancakes, sausage and eggs, whatever it was, my grandfather would always sit next to me, slap me in the arm and say, you know you can't get oatmeal like this anywhere but the Porter Farm. And uh, obviously that place was a, a nostalgic time in my life. And uh, my grandmother still lives in that house and it still feels like home when I go there. I love it. Anyway, the way that they live, grandfather always said, life is what you make it. No matter what you're doing, life is what you make it. And uh, 
that always stuck with me. So, originally, with the name and the logo, I didn't really know what it was at the time. I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. I just loved Porter Farm, and uh, my grandfather loved to hunt, and he loved music, which is what inspired the logo. When I told the guy that we used to draw it up, I told him I wanted antlers on some headphones. And yeah, as cheesy as I thought that was, I thought it, it looked great. It turned out great, and I love it. Anyway, so what I'd like to do with that company is, uh, is definitely make it in part mine and in part the people who support me. So what I think we're going to do is uh, it just start out first selling shirts. And five dollars off of every twenty dollar shirt, we will save. We will put back. And we don't know yet. We haven't ironed out all the details. But whether it's every three months, every six months, every year, or when it gets to a certain amount of money, whatever it is, we're going to let the fans write in, tell us about the organizations or the people that mean something to them, and then we're going to give that money to that organization, to that nonprofit, to that charity. And that's just my way of being able to honor my grandparents for the help that they gave me and to give something back and, and do something basically outside of music that, uh, that feels like we're doing some good. I feel like that's important. I know that they felt like that was important. Um, my mother is a very giving person and, uh, and my dad was too. And so I just, you know, it's my way of building something and doing something that... Uh, feel like needs to be done. Anyway, so that's enough about that. Obviously this is our first episode, so it's not like we have a, a bunch of questions to answer because you guys don't know that we're doing this yet. So, once we get this one out and get it going, we'll open up the opportunity for you guys to write in, tell us what you're thinking about, tell us what you want to know, if there is anything that you want to know. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode. I hope you have a great week. And uh, remember, life is what you make it. Me and God got a good thing going. I screw up, but he knows I mean well. Yeah, I pray every day and I think he might say it's alright to raise a little hell. He turned the water into wine, so I don't think he'd mind a couple beers. Yeah, this life I've been giving, I'm damn sure living it up while I'm way down here, down here, way down here, till I'm up there, I'm getting way down here, go back. My old truck still runs, all my good buddies got my back, and I have more fun than anyone could ever stick a shake at.